Skill number 16, serve the meal tray and feed the paralyzed resident. Okay, so do your introduction, wash my hands, knock, knock, knock. Hello, I'm CNA Christine, is it okay if I can come in? They say yes. Good morning, is it okay if I check your wristband before I get started? Okay, Mrs. Jones. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Jones. I'm here to assist you with uh, your breakfast. Is it okay that I help you with that? She says yes. Okay, Mrs. Jones, well, I'll have to go to the kitchen and grab your tray. So I'll hit your call light if you need anything, and I'll be right back. So before I leave, I'll go ahead and make sure that her side table is cleared so we can set the tray on there. It's cleared. Okay, so I'm going to sanitize my hand, leave the room, and go to the designated area where there's the tray. So the supplies, the supplies you're going to need is, of course, the tray, washcloths, and the protective barrier for their gown. So it's in a basically... A, a big bib, but you don't want to refer to that so you don't offend them. So, protective barrier for their clothing. All right, so knock, knock, knock. Mrs. Jones, I'm back. Go ahead and set this over here. Close the curtain for privacy. Make sure the wheels are locked. Rate the bed to my working level. Lower the side rail on the side that I'm feeding on. So, for the state test, the card will let you know what side is their paralyzed side. So for this video purpose, their left side is the weaker side. So you gotta remember, you're always gonna feed them on their stronger side. So for this video purpose, since her left side is her weaker side, I'm gonna feed her on her right side, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, let me do something real quick and just check your tray. Always grab the dietary card to make sure that this is for Mrs. Jones. See that she's having breakfast and check for any allergies and her dietary type. So you can see it's for Mrs. Jones, it's breakfast. Her diet type is regular and there's the NES. So you should know those abbreviations. So NES is no added salt. She's allergic to eggs. So what you're gonna do next is of course, check her tray to see what items that she has in her food. So as you can see, she's allergic to eggs and there's eggs on her plate. So you can't simply just grab the eggs and remove them. Um, because the eggs are touching all these other foods, she can still eat these other foods and have an allergic reaction. So the thing that you're gonna need to do is, Mrs. Jones, there's actually something wrong with your tray. So I have to return it to the kitchen and get you a new one, okay? So let me go ahead and give your call light. So if you need anything, and I'll be right back. Make sure her bed is in the lowest position. Her rows are locked. Okay, I'll be right back, Mrs. Jones, with your new tray. So you bring this tray to whatever designated area there is for the state test. And your evaluator should let you know, okay, your new tray is wherever it's going to be. So I'll go ahead and return this tray to the kitchen. Get Mrs. Jones's new tray. Mrs. Jones, I'm back. And so you'll do that all over again. You'll find the dietary card and make sure that it, it is for her and then her allergies are eggs she's having breakfast so then you'll proceed to check the food so she's having breakfast and there are no eggs so dietary restriction no added salt also make sure that there's no salt packets or milk or anything that she's not supposed to have if there's something that she's not supposed to have on the tray like a salt packet those things you can remove because they're enclosed in something but when it comes to eggs, open products like that, you can't just remove them. It's been touching other things, so always be careful for that. Also, um, you want to make be sure to know your food groups. Like if they're uh, diabetic, um, they shouldn't have anything with sugar. If they're allergic to milk, that means dairy, so they can't have cream, they can't have cheese, they can't have butter. So if there's butter on the toast, they can't have that toast. So be very careful for this. It's a critical point. So everything on her tray is good. You're also going to need to check the temperature. You can do so by, let's just say, she has coffee steam coming up from the cup, or you know, if it's a cold beverage, it might have some condensation on the side, so you know that it's cold. Um, when it comes to checking the temperature of food, go ahead and break a piece off of the food and set it aside and touch it with um, your hand to feel the temperature. Or you can also sometimes see steam rising from the food. So I've checked the temperature of the food. Everything's good. So I'm going to bring this close by, basically in front of her. Always make sure that the curtain's closed, the wheels are locked. I'll raise the bed to my working level again. 
Okay, Mrs. Jones, we're having breakfast, okay? For this skill, you don't need gloves. Set that aside. Ms. Jones, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this protective barrier above your gown so we don't get your gown dirty. There you go, if you can sit up for me. Let's go ahead and place that there. And also for the state test, she's gonna be in a lying position. So before you feed her, always raise the head of the bed so she doesn't choke on her food. So I already pre-did that, so she's all set. And if the bed's in that sitting position already, don't assume that it's fine. Just always make a verbalization that you raise the head of the bed so while she's eating, just for test pur purposes, because you don't know how strict the evaluator is going to be. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead and take this washcloth and clean your hands. Verbalize a wet washcloth. Go ahead, Mrs. Jones, grab Mrs. Jones' hand and clean her hand. Okay. Clean her other hand as well. So then in barrel, sanitize my hands. Okay, Mrs. Jones, we're having toast and bacon. Is there anything you want to start off with? And then she says, whatever, bacon. Okay, is, did you want to try to feed yourself today? She says she can't, so you're, for the state test, you're going to have to do it. Okay, Mrs. Jones. So I'm just going to cut your toast and your bacon into small pieces. All right. So you like bacon first? Okay, so I'm gonna give you some bacon. Mrs. Jones, I'll go ahead and place the food right here. So remember, she has a weaker side, which is her left side. So we're gonna be feeding her on her stronger side. Okay, Mrs. Jones, go ahead and take a bite of that bacon. There you go. I'll give you some time to chew. All right, so are you done chewing? Okay, would you like some of your beverage? Okay, so there'll most likely be a straw. Give her some time to drink. Give her some time to swallow. All right, Mrs. Jones, what's next? Would you like some toast now? Okay. So make sure you also, when you're cutting these into uh, pieces, verbalize that I'm cutting these into small pieces so she doesn't choke on them. Okay, Mrs. Jones, here's a piece of your toast. So go ahead and feed this right to you right here. All right, give you some time to chew that. Okay. Mrs. Jones, here's some of your beverage. Go ahead and take a sip. All right. You doing okay so far, Mrs. Jones? Did you want to continue eating or are you done with breakfast? She verbalizes that she's done with breakfast. So I'll go ahead and grab her protective barrier. Go ahead and pat dry her mouth. Okay, Mrs. Jones, if you can sit up for me a little bit, I'll go ahead and remove your protective barrier. Verbalize soiled linen barrel. Next washcloth, I'll use this, wet it. Verbalize clean her hands for her. Clean that one. Extra towel if you want to, pat dry. All right, Mrs. Jones. Okay, Mrs. Jones, we're done eating. Is there anything else I could do for you before you leave? Nothing? Okay, so Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna actually leave you sitting up so your food can digest, okay? This is a critical point. Don't lay her back, don't lay her back down. Always keep her sitting up so she the food can digest and she doesn't choke if there's any food still left in the back of her mouth. All right, Mrs. Jones, here's your call light. If you need anything, hit your call light, and I'll be right back, okay? Make sure the bed is in its lowest position. One side roll up, one side roll down for the state test. Make sure the wheels are locked, of course. Go to the foot of the bed. Make sure her alignment's okay. All right, open her curtain. Grab the rest of your supplies, tray. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'll see you later. Your side table is right here. Bring this, set this aside wash your hands and document. And for the state tests, I'm not quite sure what the evaluator is going to have you document. Either you can make that verbalization, um, she had 50% of her food, uh, 50 ml of her drinks, or the evaluator will let you know the percentage and you just have to verbalize what the intake of the resident is. Wash your hands and document and that's the skill.